Um, so you two host a podcast called This Might Get Weird. We do. Yeah. And today, this might get fill in the blank. This got weird. No, this got weird enough. I mean, it didn't get weird. It's been weird. It started, it weird. started weird. It will end weird. Consistency on the weirdness. Cool job, guys. Thank you. <laughs> so what else are you two working on now? Well, you know, mm. I'm gonna just elaborate on the podcast. Yeah. It's been up for about two months. It's really fun, and it's just the two of us shooting the shit for like half an hour to an hour every week, just as best friends do. Like a little eavesdropping session on our lives. Yeah, and it comes out every Wednesday. This Make It Weird Wednesdays is a thing I hope people start saying about it. <laughs> T-shirt spill. Right? Summon, summon, up, summon up, summon up, summon up. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Um, Who are you and what do you do? I'm Mamrie Hart. I'm Grace and I live in a constant state of confusion. And we also co-host a podcast called This Might Get Weird. Where are we? Community college. How uh, did we get here? Probably by slacking in high school. Mm. Or maybe you discovered your potential like later on in life. Mm. Oh, well, it's yeah. a lot fancier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Better than where I'm from. Wow. Do you guys have, what are like the animals that people get at Hogwarts? An owl? Maybe a snake. What were they called? Oh. A familiar. Do you guys get a like familiar? a familiar? Yeah. Y'all get like a cockroach? <laughs> we, we're, um, yes, and we're um, the East Gatewood Frady Cats. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. Oh, that's cute that's as cute. heck. <laughs> oh, I have a game. Uh, let's play Peaks and Pits. Uh, this sounds inappropriate for TV. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody goes around and says the best and worst parts of their educational experiences. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Okay, so, uh, Mamrie, <clears throat> what was your peak and your pit? My peak in college was starring in the uh, the TV student soap opera. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. oh, could you? Uh, can I have? Can I have a follow up question? Would you like to explain your character? Oh, well, my name. I was Erin, a sassy bisexual who loved boys but couldn't stay away from girls. Mm. Oh wow! And Relatable. I would say my pit is them putting it on YouTube about a year ago. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. YouTube, so they can watch it now. Exactly. What was your sass like? My sass level? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was peaking. <laughs> yeah, that's really where I, I found the, the root of my sass. Can we have a, a sass example for our <gasps> students watching at home? A sass example? Of course. Do you remember any of your lines from the oh, soap opera? Oh, no, I don't. But it's on YouTube, so I highly recommend Ooh. that someone check it out because it's really the acting is Daniel Day-Lewis uh, level acting. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's like Daniel Day-Lewis meets Jackie, Jack Kay. From oh. 227. Oh. That's what I'd say where my acting inspiration Did comes from. Did you not from. like it on YouTube because there's trolls? Because we have trolls here at school. Oh, we're used to trolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can yeah. handle the trolls. We try not to feed them, but we yeah. exist amongst them. Exactly. Yeah. Here they eat babies. Mm -hmm. Grace, what were your peaks and pits? Mm. Oh, okay. Um, I think my peak was I went to college uh, outside of New York City, so I was able to kind of get some internships in the city when I was an undergrad and travel in and sort of get some more experience, like real world experience while I was in. Not like the real world. No, I auditioned so many times. She's not dramatic enough. She's uh, not the sass. I see. I know. What's your pit? What's my pit? My pit. Um, <laughs> My pit, I think, was that I went to a very small college and it was um, a suitcase school is what they call it. So everyone would leave on the weekend. So there wasn't a lot of like socializing that happened in my college. Oh. I think you went to like kind of the opposite school than I did. Yeah, I was, I was the president of a club called Topless Tuesday. I was ruling that school. <laughs> Great. Uh, my peak was joining the TV production class and my pit was losing a magical orb that might kill us all. Anyway. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. I have another question. You two are best friends. Do you quest together? Oh, you can take that one, Grace. Do we, um. What's a quest? Can you use quest in a different sentence? Um. A, but not a tribe called? That's the one I was gonna do. <laughs> I knew it, Mike. Darn. <laughs> a quest is when uh, you and your friends all band together and uh, raise your swords for a common goal. Mm -hmm. If the swords are metaphorical, I'd say yes. No, real swords. Oh. Mm. We're not good with weapons. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go with the metaphorical ones then. Yeah, I'd say we have a great time together. We get stuff we done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, we quest for... Um, Justice. 
Sure, yeah. That is a lofty goal. goal. That sounded cool, right? (laughs) (laughs) Sounded cool when you say it with a question mark at the end of it. Justice. (laughs) I think we quest for, you know, digital content being like, you know, uh, on par with traditional content. Mm. I think we love being able to like be our own bosses in a little bit of a way and making sure that everyone that watches us feels like they're having a good time. Thanks for taking the lead. Did that sound okay? That's that's so okay. substantial. That's like people that watch our show. Right. Exactly. We're trying to make magical content mm-hmm. feel Literally. like not magical content. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most magical thing you two have ever done together? Ooh. Most magical thing. What is the most magical thing we've ever we've done together? We've had some wonderful memories. Um, oh, one time we got the opportunity to um, go to a glacier in Alaska and Mamrie made uh, vodka. vodka snow cones out of glacier ice. Yeah. You know you didn't have to go all the way to Alaska to make a vodka snow cone. Have you ever had glacier ice? I have not. Ooh. It's the purest. Ugh. The work on that spell. Couldn't you just like do one? Yeah. <laughs> Still in school. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, um, Grace, I have a question. Uh-huh. What is Mamrie's magical power? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> giving great amounts of personal space. I think her magical power is she has a most healthy mix of extreme confidence and humility at the same time. <gasps> Oh that was my a great God. answer because yeah. she was certainly going to kill you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I paused and I could hear like the gears in her head getting ready to stop crawling up my throat to attack your face. <laughs> no, I think Mary's exceptionally confident and has the greatest way when we do any shows together of putting people in their place with just overwhelming sweetness. Oh yeah. my mm-hmm. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a wonderful spell. Mm-hmm. Um, Mamrie. So now it's your turn. Good luck. Um, what is Grace's magical power? Answering that goddamn question. <laughs> Making you feel like you'll never be able to be as eloquent as her. She's really good with words. Mm. Speaking of words, I hear you both love puns. Well, I would, you know, asterisk say one of us is amazing and has made a career off of the love of puns. Mm. One of us hangs out with the other one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Pun master. <laughs> no. Which one's your favorite? I don't have a favorite oh. pun. Do you have three favorite puns? <laughs> um, I dated a wizard once. He gave me Hogwarts, and they won't quit it, Jing. That's disgusting. <laughs> I had to think of it quickly. I know one, actually, Mamrie. Um, why did the cookie go to the doctor? See, you don't want to say this to me because I'll want to solve it. She's like, going to sit really... here like no. she's in an escape room until she <laughs> figures out how this pun ends. Tell me. <laughs> Why? Because he was feeling crummy. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I see. All right. You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> I have another question. Um, what makes your coven more powerful than others? Tell us now. Wow. <laughs> what are your secrets? You take this one, Mamrie. Right? Our coven? Oh, mm, I don't know. I think, well, we like being silly and dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think our coven, uh, we're a loving coven. We don't have any judgment, Mm. and we just try to support each other. Wonderful. Aww. Grace, Mm -hmm. what type of creature is a hell big? Mm -hmm. And what the hell does it eat? Oh, okay. Um, So many chips. I would say a hell big is a um, a, a British repressed person that Mm. eats their feelings. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, Mamrie, mm-hmm. you went to school in Boonville, North Carolina. Um, I imagine that it's full of boons. Yes. What are they and what do they eat? Uh, boons are uh, large creatures that um, eat backwash of chewing tobacco. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and occasionally garble on truck nuts. <laughs> Sounds wow. like my high school boyfriend. Oh, boy. Literally. <laughs> Me too. What are Kevin? Truck nuts. Or Kevin? Oh. I called him K-Dog, but. Kevin yeah. with two Ks. Three Ks? No. No. Different no, 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 no. <laughs> Only two. Friendship is magic. So is there anything you guys want to plug? Um, well, really, we just love the podcast. This might get weird. It comes out every Wednesday, mm-hmm. and we're having a blast doing it, so we hope people check that out. Yeah, and our social media platforms. I'm at Grace Helbig across all social media platforms. And, and I'm at Mametown because I'm a person and a destination. Ooh. Oh, that was really good. Thank you. I've been working on it. Oh, actually, would you two mind sticking around because our next guest is kind of uh, terrifying. I do feel like it's a little less likely to liquefy me or trap me in another dimension if we have guests present. We have reservations at Benihana. 
And they're super strict, so it we is. should probably hit the road. Hard to get in. If you could just bounce. <laughs>